Okay, so this is the Greenworks Pro 60 volt brushless 21 inch lawnmower. All right, got a nice steel deck. All right, it's a three in one, as you can see. Um, I took out the bag. All right, nice big bag. You got your side discharge right there. And what I got your batteries. All right, this is your V60. This is really what they're using now um, as their main OPE platform uh, voltage, okay? Um, you know, you might still see some 80 volt stuff out there. I think they're kind of, I don't want to say they have discontinued that 80 volt line, but as, as far as the stuff that you're seeing um, at the big box stores, it's mostly the V60, and this is really you know what they're pushing as their top of the line um, voltage as you can tell Greenworks Pro alright so they really kinda market this not only for the homeowner but for the you know commercial grade applications okay uh, this is a 5 amp hour battery that comes with it okay you got four bars obviously this is gonna be just about dead okay you got your owner's manual instruction manual on each all right the mower the battery and the charger I'll show you the charger real quick we'll start charging this battery okay so this is their best charger as well okay this is your uh, CH60 all right ROO okay again Greenworks Pro with all the Greenworks Pro um, tools you're gonna get this charger okay um, again really nice packaged really well at a, at a really good price as well. Got these nice big tires. Probably the biggest tires that I've seen on a 21 inch uh, mower. All right. Um, and these are not plastic. Um, obviously, they are plastic here, but you do got a nice soft touch. Like I can dig my fingernail into there. So it's like a softer plastic. Um, besides that, guys. It's basically just hooking up, raising the bars up. Okay. So, obviously to probably lift these bars, the first thing you're going to want to do, right here, really nice. This is how you lock them and move them, just by sliding out. Locked, open. Okay, same thing here. So I'm going to lift both of these up. Try to get them even. That works. And I like how they have the wire inside of the handle. All right. That's the one thing about the DeWalt mower. Really, my only gripe on it, if you uh, saw my review on that, the one wire is just in the way of everything. When you're taking the bag on, when you're taking the bag off, it's always there in your way. Uh, Greenworks really, really did a smart thing by putting this inside the handle. Really, really nice. Now you kind of just have to work it in.
Okay. Do the same with this. Nice. And you have a hole here on the handle here. Okay, I'm sure it came with a couple screws that you can put in right here to kind of secure that. Um, Here's your um, battery import, and you got your key right here. Okay, so this is where you're gonna put your 60 volt battery. Now remember, what's great about it is it uses one 60 volt battery, all right? When the one dies, the other one, this isn't just a storage compartment for another battery, kind of like the heart and the Ryobi does. This is ready to go, all right? So you basically can hold 120 volts in here at the same time but obviously it's going to run off of one battery 60 volts and then when that one dies the other one will kick on all right you saw me lift it out of the box with this handle another nice handle right here okay really nice looking mower i have to say and again has a steel deck but super light i mean look at this one hand All right, let's charge the batteries up. All right, so this mower has a cutting height of one and three eighths on one, which I doubt any of you are gonna use unless you're on a golf course. And it goes, like I said, all the way up to four inches, okay? Um, basically take a little bit less than half an inch, you know, maybe, 0.35 inches um, each number okay so two is just about two inches probably a little bit less you know three is just about two and a half inches you know 2.25 so you know to get to around three inches you're looking at around number five all right if you cut it three and a half, six is going to be where you want to be. All right. Um, runs at 2,800 to 3,200 RPM. And like I said, over here, you got this turbo button. And this is for, you know, bagging leaves. Um, you know, you really want to mulch some higher grass. It's going to give you that higher RPM. Now, this does have um, a feature in it that once it is basically called smart technology right all the mowers have it if it gets into higher grass uh, it's going to kick up to a higher rpm all right what this turbo button is going to do is basically always keep it at that 3200 or max rpm all right we talked about these two screws what i got where could they be if you get this mower they're right on here okay now if I had my knife which is right here all right so in that little bag that's attached to your mower you're gonna have two bud two bolts and two nuts all right real simple like I said you got these two holes Use your a Phillips You're gonna see it come through Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm not going to bore you with doing it. All right, but after that, you're all ready to rock and roll, and that's what we're going to do. All right, so next, we're going to go over some high, tall grass. Going to use it in some different applications, different heights, different cuts. All right, here's your battery port. Like I said, it uses one 
60 volt battery and this is good because it really keeps costs down on this mower okay um, this mower comes with I believe two fours and a dual charger and I think that's 499 this one's 399 I think it's great because if you're gonna invest in Greenworks platform getting batteries is real super simple right you're gonna get the blower you're gonna get the trimmer you're gonna get the hedge trimmer it's gonna come with an extra battery now they say 45 minutes to 60 minutes depending on the perfect situation right if you're taking an inch off right a fescue it's a beautiful day no wetness on the grass no dew the grass maybe is a little bit dry 60 minutes so they say 45 to 60 minutes with one five amp hour battery okay um so if you get a 2.5 from a weed whip right now you're looking at around an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half of runtime all right if you're push mowing over an hour you, you have the wrong kind of mower Maybe you should invest in a tractor. All right, but you got plenty of run time, guys, with this mower. That's what makes it great. All right, that's really it, guys. Um, also, I wanted to tell you it has two lights, okay? Two LED lights. All right, a lot of them just come with one, um, but you got two on this one. Again, probably the biggest rear tires you're gonna see. I just think it's a really well-built mower. Now we're going to have to see if it cuts, and that's what we're going to do right now. But again, I love how simple this is. I meant to say two seconds. Two seconds. Don't forget, you get an extra blade. A high lift blade comes with it too. All right, so I got the right battery in. Full power. If I had another battery in, that one would read, you know, four or three, depending on the power. All right, real easy to start. Press the button. All right, let's. No buts about it guys this thing cuts really good all right now i do have it on turbo but this is not grass some grass some weeds poison ivy clover crab grass i mean everything all right and it kind of just took it down that's why i wanted to do one in the middle of it so you can tell the difference and hopefully you can see this all right but Obviously, you're not going to be cutting stuff like this, but we always put these mowers through 
the toughest applications we can get here. So we're going to finish this area, and we're talking at least two feet here. All right? At least two feet. And then we'll cut some normal grass. And it's very quiet. Even on that turbo mode, not really that loud. got some dew out here it's like 9 30 in the morning so you hopefully you can see some sparkling that is the wetness of the grass all right so again guys you always hear me talk about it these lithium ion mowers besides that skill mower that just really had a hard time mulching um every mower that i've tested and even that skill it, it'll cut grass all right but if you're going to try to cut tall grass in mulch mode that skill is probably not the best choice but um you know these mowers work great and greenworks obviously has been in this you know genre of ope equipment for a long time and they know how to make a good lawnmower a good lithium ion lawnmower all right so now let's do some other stuff see what she can do Also, guys, this has your mulch plug. All right, some of them are built right into the flap. I like that with the DeWalt, but with the Greenworks, you got one that you can remove and put in. All right, as you can see, okay, and it's, you know, with those big wheels, it is a real smooth mower to operate. Um, very light, you know, I'm impressed by my first, um, dealings with a Greenworks product. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Let's do a couple more strips over here. So how to on four, yeah, maybe six is good. All right, so there you see my neighbor who you know keeps it at like one and a half inches, probably around two and three quarters here. And that still has to get done. But let's see some more.
right, folks. Next thing we'll do is bag. But again, very impressed with the cut of this mower. And we'll bring it down a little bit. My grass really wasn't too crazy. Like it usually is for these videos. But all right, let's see it in bagging mode. All right, folks, we're going to try her in bagging mode. Got this nice big bag here. Open her up. Remember, take the mulch plug out. Toss it to the side. Clips on real easy. All right. Nice big bag. Okay. So I could probably fill this up. No problem doing my, doing my side yard. And this is pretty tall. All right, we'll do one more pass. Very, very smooth. Now right, you see the tires are wet, so there is some dew on this grass, and it's still, you know, never heard it bog down at all. And I, I'm taking taking a good amount off here. All right. Obviously, you can push this down, but nice big bag. I like it, folks. Guys, for three ninety nine, you know. For a push mower, all right. Remember, this doesn't have self-propelled, okay. Um, but for a push mower, three ninety-nine with, you know, forty-five minutes to sixty minutes of runtime with one battery. Uh, that's tough to beat, guys. And again, you know, two minutes storage. Right here, you got that handle, and it's good to go. All right, so I like it. All right, plus you got two headlights as well if you want to cut early in the morning or at night. I just really like the handle. I like how the wire is intrigated inside here. Uh, so there's no wires kind of hanging around. All right, uh, but again, to start what you're doing you like it here that's fine want to go down it's right here you're fine steel deck I mean 
nice big tires in the back and like I said I really think it has a good cut on it all right we'll do some side discharge and we will do some updates on this video as we move go along this summer but I did want to get this out as quick as I could because a lot of people are asking about this because it is on sale again for $3.99 all right, any comments or questions, let me know. We'll catch you on the flip. All right, so we got some leaves. We got turbo mode. We're gonna see how she does bagging these semi-wet leaves that I pulled from a different area. them all up one pass let's see how these are mulched down yeah, pretty good I want to see if you can do a lot more leaves than this but again for a lithium-ion mower um, you know sucking up leaves could be a challenge bagging leaves but again with the push of a button the turbo button you can get that max rpm and you'll get maximum suction and 30% more mulching capabilities is what they say. All right. Really impressed with this, guys. All right. We saw it in mulch mode, bag mode, side discharge, and we did some leave pickup. I think it's a great mower. But you have to be willing to invest, I think, in the entire platform for this mower to make sense. Okay. So you don't have to, you know, again... You might have a Milwaukee or a DeWalt trimmer, you know, a uh, Ryobi blower. I mean, again, you're getting pretty much 45 to 60 minutes. So I actually take that back. You can get this mower and you don't really have to go to the other tools in the platform. But, hey, that is always nice, though, because you do have extra batteries. But Greenworks, 21 volt, 21 volt, excuse me. 21 inch 60 volt pro steel deck lawnmower it's a nice one 